This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the uh, quarantine central of Sorgatron Media uh, right here in uh, Pittsburgh, PA. And uh, we got a show with you. We got a crew for you tonight. First of all, joining us uh, is the Dutters back on the show Hi. again tonight. Back after a week hiatus. Good to see you. <laughs> nice to see everybody too. Studio what? C? Or wait. Which, no, which your studio, studio D. In the big C. With the That's big right. C, yes. <laughs> Ooh, and then today I'm with, <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> What's that? I can't wait for this one. You got the big oh, yeah, P we, or P. We got the big P. In the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave Potter is with us. How you doing, Dave? No, no, guys. How you doing tonight? So you're the, you're the big P and the big, I, I don't know where you're at. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of I'm, I'm the big P and the PH. Okay, the big P to the PH. Wait, this is yeah, this is starting to sound like a rap song. I like this. P to the PH. That's it. Yes, <laughs> P squared H. <laughs> of course, Prof Pod on the social medias and the Tiny Shutter Podcast. Uh, good to have you back on. Thank you for dropping in the last minute. Uh, glad to hear, be here. Glad to be we, here. Thanks we, for the invite. Uh, John, John, uh, the Chilla is uh, of course on a, 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 a special assignment, a last minute special assignment going on so uh, uh we'll hope to have him back again next week but this is the awesome cast please check out everything at awesomecast.com uh you can subscribe to the podcast on all your podcast players of course uh hit us up at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com awesomecast on the twitter the awesomecast facebook page and definitely follow the awesomecast facebook group because that's where a lot of the great discussions have been happening uh, a lot of stories are shared throughout the week so please hop in there and uh, be a part of that and uh, part of that discussion um a lot of the stories that we put in through the week there's been a lot of commentary on and you know kind of helps inform kind of some of the stuff that we talk about here um when we get around to the show so please go check that out um also if you're watching us here live 7 p.m eastern time every tuesday um on across all the awesome cast social medias uh we're over on the youtube we're on the periscope and of course over here on facebook live uh if you're there please give a like give a share um give a heart whatever the case may be so people can find us while we're going live uh right now of course and uh thank you to our patreon supporters our ever-growing list of patreon supporters patreon.com slash awesome cast our friends at the coffee club level matt weller john DeGore, john carmen and at our fan of the show levels michael fedor pg Museums.org, Professor Buzzkill, go check out his podcast, and Dave Potter, of course, of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, um, all contributing to the show. Thank you, everybody who is contributing to the show. Uh, it really means a lot, especially with all the craziness going on these days. Uh, we can at least pay our podcasting fees. Uh, you guys can support the show, too, at AwesomeCast. I'm sorry, Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. So let's get into our awesome things of the week. And Katie, let's start with you, because it's been a week. We need, we need, what is going on in the world of awesome, uh, yeah, of animal, damn it, Animal Crossing. I can't Awesome either. Animal Crossing? I can't even, awesome Animal Crossing. Uh, uh, what's going on over there? Because I see weird stuff on the internet, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have the ability to jump into the water. Yay! We are, yay, we can swim. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, the big thing that I've been doing is there's the ability to get... Uh, you go in the water, you put on a wetsuit, you have to put on a wetsuit. That's the only way you can enter the water. Mm -hmm. If you put on your wetsuit and you can either walk in at the beach level or you can jump off rocks or, uh, there's some people who are building massive ramps to jump off of into the water, which is super cool. I haven't done that yet. And, uh, you get to swim and you'll see little shadows under the water and you dive down and you're able to find things like prawn and it's, it's a bunch of terrible, like there's pineapple, Oh, was it the, I forget, it's like some sort of pineapple anemone. 
Um, but there is this sea anemone, and it's like an enemy of my enemy is my frenemy. It's it, they're horrible. <laughs> like the puns are just <laughs> oh no, oh they're terrible. There's a um, there's one oh gosh the the jellyfish, and you're looking the moon jellyfish. So now all, all you have to find is the uh, sun peanut butter fish. Yeah. They're just terrible. Like this animal crossing is just full of terrible puns that never go away. Like every time you catch this animal, you're seeing the same pun over and over. It's, and over just, again. it's just all there is to it. Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh no. Was, you think they'd vary it a little bit. Um, yeah. So I think, I don't know what this person is doing. Oh, they're, they're sunbathing apparently in this video and the article yes. you sent here. you got all kinds of options. Oh. Like, yeah. People are customizing their Jumped beach side mm-hmm. and their diving boards and their beach area. And so you can, uh, one of the other things you can find are pearls to make mermaid furniture. So that's been my recent quest for my niece because she wants all the mermaid furniture, of course, and um, which I don't blame her. It's pretty cute. And so I've been diving for pearls. And there's also a, a otter named Pascal. And Pascal also has some very horrible puns. Uh, but he's looking for, <laughs> everybody has terrible puns in this game. It's amazing. And uh, he's looking for these specific type of shell and when you give him the scallop shell he will give you a mermaid recipe for furniture or a pearl and i'm currently in the process of just receiving pearl after pearl from pascal and no new mermaid furniture so i'm kind of at a little standstill with my friend pascal but it's okay having fun enjoying the water it's really actually very uh calming to swim in the water because it sounds like water when you're kind of splishing in it and then the water's so clear, especially on nice days on your Island. And it's like, this is nice. It's kind of like mimicking being by the beach. <laughs> I love it. And I love that all the, like half of the, the, the tweets that are, that are in here are videos, just people diving into the water. <laughs> so. It's fun. <laughs> I think I was laughing harder when I was showing my niece that you could dive into the water than she was. I was like, mm-hmm. look at this. It's, uh, it, it's a it's a nice replacement since we can't all go to the pool right now. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> we can at least, you know, just spray yourself with water and, and jump into the <laughs> Animal Crossing pool, right? Yeah, put some put the really coconutty smelling um sunscreen oh, on. Oh yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen this I haven't seen the sun in four months, but I'm gonna smell like I have. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> The heat lamp. Just put yourself under a heat lamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So everybody's been swimming for the last couple of weeks, huh? Yeah. So I'm in great shape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. So 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 Animal Crossing continues to grow. Uh, Potter, what do you got going on? Sure. I got a little bit of a follow-up from something um, that was posted around a month ago Mm -hmm. um, where Photoshop put out a free and still free um, iPhone, at least it may be in the Android store. I'm not familiar with Android, sorry, Um, but a free iPhone app where it's Photoshop camera. So this is a dumb, I don't want to say dumbed down version of what Photoshop can do, but I tried using Photoshop a couple times mm-hmm. and admittedly it was a few years ago, but it completely overwhelmed me. Um, it's literally it it's yeah. Yeah. It, 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 and, the, and kind of relating to something else at geekies. When I learned to program years ago, it was before object oriented programming and everything else. So, you know, you learn on Fortran or whatever, and then you're like, Oh, here's a new modern language. You're like, huh? For me, Photoshop's the same way. It's like, okay, I can do some editing in photos, but you got the, with this and what we, I no, and overwhelm old brain here. The Photoshop camera though, it doesn't give you a lot of controls. So it's kind of limited on what you can do. But one thing that I really like, it, it does have an automatic make pretty feature mm-hmm. where you just kind of import a photo and you can either take it in the app or import it in. And it just kind of makes some minor corrections and it gives you a few little extra, but not as much as maybe others, but it does give you some really creative stuff. Now, this is just a average photo of kind of my backyard with, and it's kind of hard to see here, but uh, just some clouds in the background there. Okay. We'll see it. But it now gives you the ability to like swap the uh, sky out without having, to and it automatically mask everything. So I have to worry about 
and it doesn't give you the ability to, but it, you don't have to animal crossing there. Um, you don't have to mask out what the sky and what isn't the sky there. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm, just, I know, I'm looking and see how it's there. But you can also do really weird, unusual stuff. Like put some fantasy backgrounds or Ooh. fantasy sky in. So, yeah. So, you so you have make like a little video or, or photo out of that. Yeah. You have like little CG uh, clouds and, and a moon that pops up in the background mm -hmm. there and, and, it, and it and actually kind of reacts to it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and the nice thing is that they you do get a limited amount that they download with the app, mm -hmm. but you can download more at no cost. Okay. So so it isn't a matter of we're going to give you some and you have to pay. Now, Ian, you do, you do have to have a free uh, login okay. for Adobe, but you don't have to pay for it. Oh, so you don't need to so, have a creative suite or anything. You no, just need to have not a login all. with them. So they're, yeah, really, that's, they're, that's, they're, just, they're, just, they're just capturing your email at this point. Pretty much, yeah. They they figured that this is literally the free sample okay. before they they figured they get you for for the money. Okay. But like on July fourth, I went up and just took a picture of my house from the back, and this is before any fireworks or anything else. But I just kind of put in a let's see if we can. Oh, fireworks! And basically, all you do is select the uh, scene from the what they call lens from down below. And you can just kind of slide over and go, okay, now I want, okay, the same thing. I just kind of, all I did was slide over a little bit there and let me mm -hmm. see what we for it to adjust. So you kind of have a scene. So you can do some really unusual creative things here now, too. Can you take those kind of creative scenes and, and does, do those post as like an anime GIF or a video file? If you uh, want to put them on something? It posts as a video. A video it posts file. as a video. Yeah. It, it's around a five second video they give you. I, 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 so I was I was just checking real quick to see if they mentioned kind of how they're doing this. Um, according to the description on the App Store, uh, the Photoshop camera is packed with AI-powered features that help you um, take, you know, okay, and then don't, mm -hmm. just a bunch of buzzwords. So so it is yeah. that. I, it, they are doing a lot of, aren't they doing a lot of machine learning? Like there's a lot of they like server-side yeah. stuff that we've talked about in the past. So this may be kind of an extension of that as well. So I, or, you know, Honestly, given the speed of how this quickly this does. You think it's on device? I, I think it's on device because yeah. I'm literally just scroll. I mean, as I'm scrolling, it's as fast as my thumb scrolls, it renders. So this does not feel like um, there was, what was it a couple years ago, the Prism app for the iPhone, which right. did do it on a server where you clicked it and you, wa you waited two, three seconds for to upload, do the processing, come back down. The, I mean, unless they're, really got that much quicker where it's almost instantaneous, but it, it, it does not feel like a lag at all. That's awesome. And I mean, I, it's an iPhone 10, so it's a three year old. I mean, it's still not slow, but it's not, you know, the newest, the new, which, you know, like the, I, the new, the new iPhone when it comes out in a couple months is going to blow pretty much speed wise, everything away. So, mm -hmm. which they tend to do. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So that's Photoshop camera. It's free. The yeah. downloads are free. You just got to sign up for an Adobe account. Exactly. I'm and I'm exactly. sure you're going to get emails to be bugged to upgrade to Photoshop and, and everything else. And there's a lot of apps actually that, that get free include um, with Photoshop, like the spark apps that are always really great yeah. for making little social media posts. Um, mm -hmm. th those, uh, it, it, I think if you're on creative cloud, it'll take away the little Adobe mark in the corner or something. So and spark, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. yeah, the spark logo in the yeah, corner. The Okay. Yeah. The weird thing is this one doesn't even have any photo. I have to be honest. I haven't, it could be they went in the spam somewhere, but mm -hmm. uh, I haven't gotten emailed and there's no watermark on these photos. Give it time. Give it time. Oh, I know. They'll I come know. around to I you. Know. Look, you're on a list somewhere. <laughs> um, well, trust me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so mine is, um, I, I, I got to set something up and I know Chella's talked about this function for a while. Um, but, uh, so I, I played with it a little bit and, uh, and, and, you know, and spend a little more time at home and I got an air conditioner basically in my bedroom and that's about it. Thankfully it hasn't been so hot around here these days. So I was like, well, I need to set something up so I can just hang in my bedroom if, you know, uh, I'm under the weather or, or if, uh, you know, it, it gets too hot out and I really just need, and I don't want to come to the office where there's air conditioning, you know, necessarily. And, and cause then I'm just going to work on stuff instead of just hanging out. Right. Um, so I, I, I played with, um, setting up with my old, uh, the old, old fourth gen 
i5 laptop and I got it working and updated everything. And uh, it's been working with uh, the Xbox Companion app and it is streaming Xbox One to the laptop. And then I had an extra TV because we're not using all the extra TVs for, for on-location streaming anymore. So it's been in my house for a while. And uh, threw that in the bedroom, hooked up my laptop to it, and now I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey from the Xbox downstairs <laughs> to my bedroom. And uh, it mostly works. It, it, I was playing uh, pretty extensively. Every once in a while, it, it gets a little choppy and needs to catch up a little bit. Also, like, there's no internet like on my floor. Like Everything's coming from the basement. So I think that's part of any issues that I have. I think I really do need to get an Eero or something and kind of exp- expand that up if I'm going to do more of that that streaming kind of setup. But it's been pretty cool. So if you have like an extra computer, you can hook up to a TV in a spare room. You don't need to unhook your Xbox and take it up there. Like you can just use this in order, you know, in order to do that. Like I say, I was playing some of that. I've been playing some Far Cry Three, uh, uh, Blood Dragon up there. So like pretty Twitch games, right? Um, trying a little bit of the street fighting games, not street fighting, but uh, fighting games like Injustice. Um, and Mortal Kombat, and you know, just to see how they function. Like the, those are the those are the big Twitch tests for me. Um, the, the biggest issue I have is I think the TV already has an off synced audio to it that I've noticed in the past, and and it's just you you feel a little kludginess to reaction and sounds and like that. So it it was a it was a pretty cool setup. <laughs> I just saw Cattail just walk across in front of Honor off camera. <laughs> <laughs> like a cameo <laughs> sorry but um but no I, I definitely recommend that if you got an xbox one and i don't know if the playstation has like comparable features but um um the, I, i'm definitely enjoying i'm getting a lot of I, i'm getting a lot of that old uh first a lot out of that old first gen xbox one at this point so <laughs> um but uh no it's been it's my, nice to kind of do that and say you know hey i don't want to be in the living room anymore and literally just t- pause my game and start back up upstairs at this point so that was kind of my new that's my awesome thing of the week is uh getting that set up and getting that working pretty good so um so with that I want to give a shout out to our friends. Didn't get to visit them this week because of stuff going on, but uh, give a shout out to our friends that have been supporting this podcast for a good long time. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, four locations in the Pittsburgh area, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, Beachview, Carnegie, East End, PNC Park. Uh, please go check them out. Let them know the awesome cast sent you. And uh, thank you everybody that's been supporting them throughout all these crazy times. So uh, uh, thank you. Check out our friends, SliceOnBroadway.com. All right, so we did have a story that Amanda, our friend from Bold Pittsburgh, check out the new podcast over there, uh, boldpgh.com. And uh, this was uh, some big news here. Uh, so apparently Serium C- XM um, is buying Stitcher for $325 million. Should I hold the pinky up for that one? Um <laughs> But uh, and, and, and Stitcher, I'm sorry, Sirius XM, one other than like both of them combined, I think they already bought Pandora. And uh, and I remember Stitcher being bought previously. So this is at least their second purchaser, I guess, at this point. Um, I, what, what do you guys think of this uh, as far as the podcast landscape goes? Katie? I think um, like as far as it, this is wild to me that it's just like all these companies are buying the podcast now. Mm-hmm. And um, I actually, I have Sirius, I have both Sirius on my phone and um, Pandora because I've curated my Pandora to a point that I'm not comfortable giving it up yet. <laughs> <laughs> all but, those years, all that time you put into it. Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been I feel like it's been in like almost 10 years. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it, it's serious. I, I like that this will be incorporated into serious, <laughs> serious because of I don't like there's I haven't really found something else that I like listening to podcasts on my iPhone mm-hmm. like if they can incorporate this seamlessly into the Sirius app I'll be excited like st- you know the, the bringing the ability to like bring these other podcasts in because I don't I don't know like it's kind of a mess with things on podcasts on iPhones I think at least for me what, <laughs> are, you, what, that, what are you using now for podcasts are you using the podcast app yeah I'm using the podcast app and okay. you're like ugh there's so much available. <laughs> oh yeah, I, mean, well, I, so I use the podcast app because I want 
I, I figure for me, it's kind of dog fooding. It's like I want to know what the experience is like for the general population. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, I want to make sure it's at least working there when I go into the, although I'm kind of tempted to start, I, I downloaded Google podcast on the iPhone and I kind of like that setup. Really? And, and yeah. And, and, and I think it talks a little bit more to my Google homes that I throw podcasts on in the morning and everything and while I'm cooking. So <laughs> that might be, if I go anywhere, you know, or maybe the ones I tend to throw on Google home, I'll throw on that app. So I uh, check it out. The Google podcast app is, is kind of nice actually. So yeah. far, minimal use, minimal use, not the day to day. Potter, what do you think about this? I, I, I would say more money is good for podcasting because, you know, the quality, the talent, getting some money, maybe. Um, but um, my concern is, oh, and we're going to have this person exclusively on Stitcher or this podcast exclusively on stitcher see that that's that's more my concern there yeah, is yeah. that because that's you know it's kind of like what they did with howard stern where you know oh you want to see howard come exclusively on you can't get him any other way you know it's like i don't that i don't like that, you, that's the only thing that's concerns and you're seeing that with joe rogan and, and everybody yeah. wants the, that content play and and for the high-end podcast i i think yeah you're going to see that more you know, yeah. as long as there's money to throw around, you're going to see that more. You oh, yeah. know, as long yeah. as people think that that's the thing that's going to get people coming to coming to their platform. Um, and mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, I I don't know. I I use the Apple Podcast app because really, when I started to listen to the podcast, there wasn't really many other podcast apps out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I just I, I couldn't figure an easy way to just kind of export all the podcasts I subscribe to. Yeah. Yeah. Because I really don't listen to radio. Um, TV is really limited on what I normally watch. Mm -hmm. um, certain channels I won't watch for my blood pressure news. Um, <laughs> so most of my thing, I, especially working from home or when I run, I listen to podcast. Mm -hmm. So I listen. I'm also listening some most of the time at two X speed. Yeah, but I listen to hours and hours of podcasts a day, and I don't want to go through the effort of exporting or oh, okay, now I have to find which I know this is how you know they, they get you and keep you, but I don't want to go out and find okay, well, where is you know Awesome Cast? Where's Mayhem Show? Where's Morning Stream? Where's Tiny Shutter on these other services? Let me subscribe to them through here and rebuild my list manually. Well, and that's that's basically the only way you can do it. Thankfully, yep. in most of those cases, you know, if you're listening to podcasts, like most, I would still say most podcasts are going to be across platforms. Right. And 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 I know for us, it's a, it's always like I I don't know what program what platforms are out there that I'm missing that we're not on. But we try to. I remember I used to say the list on this show: Sticker, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and I'm sure I said a couple other ones along with there, right? Uh, so, I'm, but that seems to be the top five that anybody's going to be right. on, you know. And some would argue because I don't think iTunes is is the only be all anymore that it used to be. Um, so, but. Uh, it, 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 I think it's, it's, so. Wait, Katie, so you you were talking about like your CS, Sirius XM Pandora thing. Like, are you are you using pan, uh, Sirius like typically in car on via phone kind of situation too? Like, kind of in tandem but with I, your Pandora or? I don't have it. Like, my mom's car has a Sirius. Like, I'm actually yeah. that's why I have it's on her. She shares her account with me. Oh, on okay, my phone. okay. So I'm using it there. I, I don't. It, it's it's it, Sirius on your phone. Uh, is very similar has all the channels so you can pick your favorite channels and have those but it also has some mixed stations like there's a couple workout stations i listen to or if there's a particular like genre of music you can it's a separate thing it's where it's more like the streaming music and you could skip songs versus like having to listen to the serious station straight through with the commercials so you kind of have both of those options available to you nice so it kind of expands that out a little bit more mm -hmm. but there's not the customization of pandora <laughs> which like i said i've got a couple of these playlists that i'm like this is perfect i'm not messing with this. yeah 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 well it's like it's nice that they kind of combine well I, this is going to keep happening i just <laughs> um it, it, it say like i said stitcher was already purchased by somebody else it's either that or um and i think didn't didn't i see that sirius xm also has a share of of soundcloud i think 
um, I think when people were talking about it today, I, I caught um, offhand. So uh, it's 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 interesting. So I, it's 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 going to keep going. Hey, it's it's, it's a good way for CSXM to stay relevant too, because I mean, I, there's I'm sure there's plenty of people who just says, I want to watch radio, right? But uh, you know, like people just say, I got to have like the cable package for my TV. Uh, so, it, but it, it really does kind of expand that out for them too. So we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dave, you had another, uh, Oh, go ahead. I know. Say, I just looked up out of curiosity for stitcher. They were purchased by EW script. No, they, the EW script purchased someone in 2015. They purchased stitcher from Deezer for 4.5 million in 2016. They rebranded and then. Serious bottom from EW script for the four for the three hundred twenty five million. Oh jeez, <laughs> I I don't know what that says for a company to be passed along so much. You know, I like what what does that say? You're desirable, but uh, I don't know. Almost like Yahoo, not mm, as bad, but but no, I'm saying Yahoo. you know in terms of the name, the name recognition versus. Well, we can do something with it. Oh, we can make money off of it. We can do this. Uh, no, we'll we'll see if someone can buy the name off of us. <laughs> I, I, I listened to an interview with Katie Couric. I can't remember where it was in the last week, and and she was she was talking about like that era of Yahoo. It was like, yeah, we we're trying something different, and you know, it it, it scratched an itch at the time. It's like, <laughs> okay, uh, Dave, you have another uh, yeah. a video a story in here, um, a, a, a video that Apple did. Yeah, yeah. So Apple had uh, trying now. Admittedly, Apple mostly still consumer, or I think really, you either have the consumer side, which is their bulk of their volume, or you have their high end kind of graphic side. Mm. And if you're in a quote unquote normal office, you're using Windows because you're probably using Excel um, yeah. or Google Docs or something. You're normally not using so they're. Putting out um, pod, they're putting out videos, and I understand 100. It's marketing, but how Apple can be used at work, and this is more of uh, Apple being used to work at home, mm-hmm. and it, it's a li- it, it's a little long. It's seven minutes long, so it's longer than your average commercial. But it is. Who are they targeting with this thing? <laughs> it's seven that, minutes. That's the thing. I don't know, but for. For a bunch of us who do work from home, and I've been working from home since Mm -hmm. mid-March. Right now, I'm fighting the cat from biting the cables in front of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's occasionally, but it's kind of, you know, everyone's trying to go. Yeah, and it's the whole, and they're not really, this is similar to a few years ago when they were pushing the the one video where the kid's making the Christmas video, where it's not like overhead, they're not hitting you over the head with Apple products. Mm-hmm. Or saying, oh, only Apple can do this, but they're using Apple products in the background. It's a team trying to work together to solve a problem, uh, uh, a problem where the um, the boss all of a sudden says, oh, by the way, that thing that you guys had weeks to work on, we're having to do it now. OK, oh, I'm, I'm off. Bye. See, talk to you later. So it's them. And it's it's, it's, it's just this it. is this story is happening and everybody just happens to be on Apple products. Right. Yeah. Right. And, you know, it's everyone working from home and they even have a shot where one guy's working from home. He stands up and they said, hey, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. You only have shorts on. Sit down. <laughs> and they're all FaceTiming. <laughs> I love that. I love I love seeing that this one girl is like doing yoga as she's like on her phone conducting the yes. meeting, apparently <laughs> during this. So um, it's just something that's just. To me, it was just so recognizable, especially in the end when they're all getting ready for the big presentation. They said, OK, everyone, is everyone wearing pants right now? Yeah, I think I just got that section. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, Katie, this this part of the video, there's a girl on a bouncy ball. And it reminds me of uh, when you used to come to the studio, <laughs> actually. So <laughs> like it's ball. it's uh, let's see if they go back to her on this. But because uh, she keeps bouncing up and down in the in the middle of this meeting while she's eating like, I don't know, uh, celery or something. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow um so so it's so recognizable i thought it just came across it was just so recognizable mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for been, so many people been just there having to deal with stuff. been there <laughs> been there you broke me when everybody went to their apple mail <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's where you lost me a little bit I was like oh that's un- that's unrealistic who's doing that <laughs> 
<laughs> so I think mean, in a business setting, or like, am I wrong? I, you know, tell me if I am, but I don't think typically that's something that's happening. Mm, no, right? no, no. As far yeah. as I know, if you're 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 still using Outlook, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in a large corporate situation or a smaller one, you're using a Gmail account or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems to kind of. I, I keep forgetting it's on there. I wish I could uninstall it. Can you uninstall it? Maybe. Apple but, Mail. Yeah, Apple Mail on my Mac, um, just so it doesn't accidentally on, oh, on your up. Mac. When, oh, I, okay. when I accidentally click something, I'm like, oh god! It, it, like if you open Apple Mail, and then the problem is because you closed Apple Mail. But it kept whatever you opened and whoever you're trying to send an email to because the link through came through from a mail to link and okay. it defaulted for whatever reason. And then eventually, if you've had your Mac for so many years, Katie, you had a Mac <laughs> for a very long time. See if this, this yep. sounds right. And then like eventually, like you'll you'll get chugged down because your Apple Mail is is, is opening like all the tens of uh, attempted emails that it's tried mm. to put through <laughs> and start. And now you have like 20 windows up because you accidentally hit the wrong mail to link that defaulted over to them instead of over to your Gmail or something. And, and, and the world is upside down. As soon as I see that little guy bouncing at the bottom, I'm like, son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be a minute. <laughs> like, here we go, and it's like that bounce. It's like the it's, it, it, yeah, it's 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 the bounce of dread, isn't it? Yeah. Like like there's doom scrolling, but now there's like the 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 dread bounce of that only <laughs> Apple people that have a uh, had their Mac for a while know of. You know, like this thing. This thing only has four megs of RAM and <laughs> four or four gigs of RAM. yeah, four megs, four gigs of mm-hmm. RAM, and it's from uh, uh 2012, and it's a MacBook Air. <laughs> I am screwed. I have, <laughs> or or in your case, has a uh, Hello Kitty duct tape holding it together. So <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a snack. By the time I get back, we might be caught up. Yeah, yeah. It was like, well, we're gonna hold this meeting for about ten minutes now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Oh, a- 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 Apple pains. Um. But anyways, so. Um, while, while we are all wrestling with technology, there's a lot, <laughs> we're helping a lot of people out of their, uh, technological situations or uh, proceed in this. Um, I mean, we're all adapting over the last several months, still adapting, uh, to things going on as we kind of, for the foreseeable future, kind of figure out where this is going to be. Uh, but we've been doing the same thing here. Uh, sidekick media services. Let's be the sidekick in your superhero project. Everything from, uh, helping to, uh, set up some live streaming situations, um, for some churches to uh, conducting, we're actually conducting another um, uh, panel with you, Jagoff, tomorrow night about uh, uh, racial justice. So please go check that out at 6.30 p.m. on your Jagoff's Facebook page with a lot of great, great uh, partners, um, including uh, uh, Furzy. Am I saying his name right? Furzy? I met him once. Katie knows him, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Frizzy. Frizzy. Thank you. Frizzy. Thank you. There's a lot Sorry, of, I forgot I was there's so a, muted. There's a lot of <laughs> letters in there. A frizzy <laughs> awesome dude uh i get to film him i got to film him uh, uh having a, a snow cone in the park on the north side last year so uh, a lot of great uh, uh conversations going to happen there one of the great things that we're uh helping out with um here with psychic media services sorgatron media house within the sorgatron media uh going on it's quiet it's quiet in here but it's like we're, we're making a lot of noise on the internet so uh go check out what's going on at sidekickmediaservices.com uh, so, all right, back at the book here. I got a few stories where <laughs> Dave and I were actually talking about a couple of these, uh, before the show, just doing some last minute kind of check-ins with things. And, uh, apparently I closed my doc, so that is not, uh, going to happen. <laughs> but one of the interesting things that, that was, uh, that was a part of this, uh, Amazon is going to have a, a new grocery store in Woodland Hills in Los Angeles, apparently. Um, and it's going to feature, we're familiar with the Amazon Go stores, correct? Like where it's all the sensors and cameras and they see you pick up the thing off the shelf and you walk out because you checked in yourself with the app and then it'll just take it out of your Amazon account. So this is going to be another version of this. I believe it's called, and I'll double check that in just a moment, uh, the Amazon Dash Cart. And the idea is instead of retrofitting an entire store, and of course it's going to be a bigger grocery store that they're aiming to do, you put all of that technology in the shopping cart itself. So again, you've checked in in this cart with a QR code to your Amazon account. You're, it has everything from cameras, uh, sensors, and a built-in scale that's going to work out a person's purchases and then deduct the total from the card associated with your Amazon account. This is not going to be a Whole Foods. This is not going to be an Amazon Go store. This is going to be a whole new 
Amazon grocery store that they're going to be piloting in the uh, Los Angeles area. Um, so I'm not that um, I, I I haven't gone grocery shopping physically in a while myself, <laughs> but back when we used to. Um, what do you guys think about this concept about that kind of uh, 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 centralized on the cart, Katie? I think it's great because it's you're going to be especially with everything going on now. Mm. You're just going to be like, do my thing, walk out the door, done, see you later. This what? is also the person you're talking to me who went to Rite Aid for the first time, leaving the house, and I can't tell you how long. Walked to the door and was like, "Yeah, I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not used to being in public." You're you're not. <laughs> you haven't adopted that strat that 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 self preservation strategy yet. No, I haven't gone to a store, and I couldn't tell you how long. And I walked to, I walked, and I was like, "Oh, wait, <laughs> this is." Like and I wear a mask everywhere else I go in public or whenever I go to the hospital and stuff. But it was so wild. But yeah, so this is this is I think it's great for like if we're gonna be into this place where we don't have to well that's also nice if you don't like to talking to cashiers too. Mm-hmm. Like, you just want to get mm-hmm. out and go. Cause I, I, I had a long I, night. <laughs> you don't have to deal with that. I, well I even I know I have some friends that uh, have some family that works at Walmart. I uh, think it was them, them that was talking about this at Walmart, where people will wear their masks through the entire store, but as soon as they come up to do the gr- to talk to somebody at the cashiers, they, they're taking their mask off to talk to you. And just like, wait, 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 no, wait. No, 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 that's not what we're supposed to do. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> so I, I guess that's why the plastic's there. Um, uh, what about you, Dave? What do you think about this concept? Uh, I mean, it, it's a. I like the I like the idea behind it. Um. I'm just thinking in terms of it going out to many places mm-hmm. where I can see this being in places that would also have maybe LA is different from around here, but you know, whole foods tend to be in, I hate to say certain areas. Woodland, and, Wood, Woodland Hills sounds like a certain area to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Oh, we don't worry about people stealing from us, obviously, because look at the area we're in. We won't have that issue. And I I like the technology, but I'm also thinking, I I, I hate to say it. I mean, this is this is old man of me coming out, Mm -hmm. but it's like, oh, here's this great new technology, which is going to change everything. Oh, you want us to put it in an area where you know, the average income is under $30,000. Oh, we've done the research. Yeah, our store can't go there. And, yeah, you know, yeah. I, and I, I hate to be that way, but and also, honestly, this is really similar to what Sam's Club has in their app. Mm-hmm. Because I can go in Sam's Club. Now, at least someone has to, you know, see me flash my card, which also they use now to keep track of how many people are in the store since they now track how many in and out. Yes. Um, But I can go in, I can use the app on the phone. I scan the barcode. So it gives me a running total and I just swipe my thumb against it and either uses a debit card or a credit card and I can check out. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I have to do is when I leave the door is someone scans my QR code and then scans one object and then I leave. So that's wild because I so Sheets started doing this around when everything started getting locked down too, mm-hmm. where I can go in and use uh, you in the app like it, you can. Uh, they call it scan because it's Sheets, of course. Um, so I'll I'll order something like for pickup and then like okay, well yeah, I'm, I'm going to go grab like last minute. Hey, let's grab some Gatorades or something. So I'll mm-hmm. go in, grab mm-hmm. some candy bars, some Gatorades you know do the thing on my phone it's like you're good to go and you walk out nobody's checking you and that and i think that's pretty the comparison point there right dave because if anything's going to be a shopliftable place it's going to be right. a sheets versus a whole foods ish kind of thing exactly you know i think that's an right. inherent kind of thing also i i imagine if you go in grab a cart and you haven't or you ha- you haven't like checked in with the cart i think you're going to find a, a sam's club situation where there's not people hanging around that aren't checked in to right or if they exactly. are right you, you can't tell me there's not right. going to be security keeping an eye on that person because that's a level of suspicion if you're not following the code it's, yeah right yeah so um but the, so, yeah i mean I, I like the idea but i also know amazon when amazon announces something it tends to get a lot of press mm-hmm. where because i remember um and i picked this on this from um daily tech news show a while back Mm -hmm. where amazon said look we're doing deliveries by drone 
And they said, uh, yeah, this has been happening in Africa for the last year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we understand Amazon makes the big news. Like, like you said, Sheets is, I mean, other than using an app on your phone, and I hate to say it, I rather have an app on my phone than have Amazon have a ton of sensors in a cart, you know, watching me that way. Really? Really? Because yeah. now Sheets yeah. can follow you anywhere. You realize, but I can turn that off a lot easier on my phone. You can, you, you can now that's, that is true. Yeah. Um, I would say, especially, I don't know, like I said, I'm in the iOS world, but mm -hmm. I can do the, and the, it gives you a little pop-up saying, Oh, yeah. by the way, this thing is following it you. Does. Do you want to keep using it? Or only it when you're using the app, I can say only when using the app. And, and I noticed if you don't turn it off, like McDonald's is very egregious about tracking you well after your order. So <laughs> It's the uh, it's like what like I'm yeah. I'm like a half hour away. I'm just like, why is McDonald's still like blinking at the top of my phone? You know, you don't know it's because you're driving and went to the drive right. and whatnot. But um, so so I I'm interested to see how that goes. I mean, this is oh, all no. this is all piloting like, and and and. But I right. like you know this could be a thing where Amazon like this cart technology can be you know instead of retrofitting an entire store this oh, can no. be, this can eventually be dropped into your local shop and save or a walmart or something maybe it's licensed technology maybe it is an amazon yeah. partnership or something you know and getting a little conversation about amazon taking over of course but but still like but i think ideally when you think about the expansion side of it i think it makes a lot more sense oh no great so anything you can do smaller Mm -hmm. and cheaper can spread a lot than we're going to retrofit this amazing, this new, whatever. Yeah. It's um, new. absolutely. It's just kind of changing yeah. the, uh, the access point there. So, uh, Katie, did you see the, um, the trailer for the Sims reality show? By no, chance? I haven't yet. Okay. All right, Katie, get ready for this. <laughs> so, <laughs> So I, I did, we were Dave and I were were watching and listening to this beforehand, and and so so you know how you got baking shows where you have the team of people and they have to go make something, you know, uh, whether as a team or individually. Imagine that, but you need to create like your Sims character and scenarios in The Sims. Oof. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. You got me. You okay? Yeah. Now people. And apparently at some point they get on teams and like it gets emotional because they're creating these like stories with the Sims. And they're not like just pulling the um, ladder out of the pools or. <laughs> no, but apparently that's something you can do because you're creating the scenario. So, so <laughs> we know where you're going to go if you get on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So um, it's going to be, uh, it, it's, it's, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to pull the name here real quick. Uh, so it is called sparked. The Sims sparked is the name of it. Uh, it's going to be on, I believe TBS from what I saw. And uh, man, I'm at least watching an episode of this. <laughs> so, um, wait, and it's it's part of uh, main collaboration with Buzzme Buzzfeed Multiplayer, um, e uh, the, which is also the Ely Turner, Turner Sports Esports Organization. Oh, and E League. Oh, there's a lot of commas in here, and I'm getting confused. E League and BuzzFeed Multiplayer. E League is Turner Sports Esports Organization. Um, it's going to be over the course of four episodes. They'll compete for $100,000 in prizes for playing The Sims, uh, completing challenges, showcasing their creative creativity and storytelling in The Sims. So if you've been playing The Sims and you are a Sims expert and creator, now is your time, apparently. So... Um, it's, it, I, I, I'd be really interested to see because like you're, you're watching this thing and other than them like kind of like presenting things, like there's just a lot of them sitting around the computer creating their sim. <laughs> it looked like, so I'm curious to see kind of how this, uh, comes together. And of course there's a lot of the, um, you know, reveal and, and, and everybody's running for some reason at some point. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's no context. Uh, so I don't know. What do you guys think? What, what other games could they, on, <laughs> what's that? It reminds me of the Lego show that they had. Was it like last fall? I haven't watched that. How wait, did oh, you watch yeah. that? Yeah. I watched a few episodes of that where they had to create, they had to create their own stories. Like they gave them a very vague mm -hmm. idea and then they had to create like huge structures and tell the story, you know, just by looking at it, like what was going on, bad guys, good guys, this stuff's happening. And, 
Jeez. Uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. Uh, it's going to air TBS Fridays at 11, and it'll be on BuzzFeed Multiplayer the following Monday. Wow. There you go. I feel like... I feel like I, I, is The Sims as big as it has been, or... <laughs> Like I, I don't it, maybe it's just not talked in the, uh, about as much. It's just kind of a thing that's always been there and has been there forever, <laughs> like World of Warcraft, right? <laughs> well, those have made a huge resurgence with the you know we've all been stuck at home, so everybody's deep oh, dive back into Sims. Because so, remember, like week one okay. of when we were you know back in our houses, they were so you can get Sims for like five or ten bucks. Like mm. it was so ridiculous. They marked all those down, so people definitely have gotten right back in. This is the perfect time for this to happen, actually. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, and also, anybody that doesn't have a Nintendo Switch, because everybody's got access to the Sims somehow, right? I mean, uh, I, I, the life-size Gundam <laughs> will be completed outside of Japan in 2021. <laughs> Yay! Because <laughs> only Japan. I'm going to watch a lot of New Japan this, this week, too, so I'm, I'm completely in the Japan mindset uh yeah it's going it's going to be uh it, it's in the works it's uh uh da, 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 that the name of us can get to japan right now to see it uh it will debut um according to bandy namco uh it's a 59 foot freedom gundam statue that will be at the lola port mall in jin jin Kuo, shanghai Ch oh china uh Oh, oh, it's the first one outside of Japan, which means there's a bunch of these in Japan already. <laughs> so, um, I wait, where did that? I think I don't even know what part of China I was in when I stopped over. That must have been Beijing. Uh, so there you go, more Gundams around the world. <laughs> so it, it'll be uh, up by next year, right? Yeah, yeah, in time for the Olympics. Yes, wait, wait, but in China, not Japan. Well. And Nintendo World did not open because they don't want people coming in um, over, yeah. you know, over coming in uh, to Universal Studios uh, Japan, apparently. So there's that. Oh, boy. Uh, Katie, what's going on with TikTok? Apparently, people were con concerned about it lately. Yeah. Uh, Amazon, I think it was last week, uh, was asking their employees to not have TikTok on their phones mm -hmm. that they brought into work. And, and now the democratic and uh, republican like if you're working on any of the campaigns they're asking you to not use the device that you're using when you're around other people talking about these campaigns um for tiktok they want you to use a separate device because they feel that tiktok is mining data and stealing information uh and china you know the the folks behind tiktok are like no nah, we're all good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're not doing anything we promise and i don't know it's it's hard to tell because who do you believe <laughs> so so from what i've been hearing it, it, it sounds like yes their parent company is a chinese company mm -hmm. um and they have an american office and it's run by somebody that used to work at walt disney i think it was so. um so you could take that for, and they, they've been, been making pains to start separating that and there may be maybe some rules uh, put in place to make them separate more from that um, also, they're being, they're being swept up in this idea. Uh, LinkedIn got caught with it. A few other apps got caught with it in the last couple of weeks about this uh, thing where apps were consistently reading your 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 uh, uh, clipboard on your phone. Mm. So if you copy and pasted anything and didn't go over to LinkedIn, it could still potentially read that. And that can, of course, include passwords, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, so it's kind of a, it feels like they got caught with a bunch of things that a bunch of other people got caught with, but the underlining China fear, mm -hmm. I, yeah. nobody knows for sure, but there's enough for people to be uncomfortable with it in certain positions. Uh, Wells Fargo uh, also released a, a similar thing in the last week. Uh, about you know, please don't use it on your your phones. <laughs> I love. I think that was the one that was also. By the way, none of you should be on TikTok on your phones during company time to begin with. Uh, so, <laughs> so Katie, Katie, I mean, this is. I mean, uh, one of the one of the people we work with, uh, the Fight Underground, just started their TikTok. They're not a corporate entity, but professional wrestling, of course. But but as a social media person, like, how do you see? Uh, uh, maybe a this affecting TikTok, or b like, how do you as a business person? 
who needs to be on TikToks, let's say, need to kind of contend with this. Well, I don't think TikTok's going anywhere for a while no. because they just introduced ads. So you're mm-hmm. able to buy ads essentially for TikTok, which is kind of a recent development. And if you're looking at the views on these videos, they're mon- they're monstrous. And people have millions and millions of followers and views on all their videos. And it's such an easy platform to get sucked into. And it's such an easy platform to make short, compelling videos for, especially if you're a business, like you're, you're not doing a, I mean, some I've seen some things on TikTok that are just phenomenal and tricks with the camera and such, but like you can get away with doing a very short video, which might not, you know, a few seconds, you know, there you go, you put it out there, you do some editing, ta-da, and you, it's, it's, and it's all within this very easy to use platform because you get a lot of age groups using TikTok without any issues because it's a very easy t- platform to use, especially with their editing tools built into the app. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't see it going anywhere for at least a little while in, until maybe something else replaces it. It's been really... Imp- it, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. It's been really impressive because um, uh, our friend, the Rev Ron Hunt, uh, another wrestler slash actually news person over in Dayton, Ohio, uh, uh, he started a, a, a TikTok account months ago and it just exploded on there. Uh, even recently, that Fight Underground started theirs and it's it already had like 400 followers, I think it said. Uh, so, like, it, it, it's... It, there's... Um, and I can't remember her name. I just followed her the other day that somebody had brought up, but there was a comedian, uh, Sarah something, but um, I remember Sarah CPR is one of her usernames, but I don't think on TikTok. She started a thing where she was lip syncing uh, oh. speeches by Donald Trump and it just yes. blew up. And, and she had some BS, like she was on Fallon talking about her ridiculous uh, uh, TikTok handle that doesn't make, which was like, what's that? It's Sarah Cooper's. Sarah name. Cooper, thank you. I knew you were talking about. I knew you were talking. I, about. I, I went down the rabbit hole watching all our videos yeah. one night, <laughs> so a couple of nights ago. But again, she like she, like her her username was something like "Show me what you got." <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. And she's like, I don't know, just playing with TikTok, and then all of a sudden, like I got a million followers. <laughs> so, but you know, kind of, it's like it's too easy. It seems too easy and stupid when you get into it in that fashion, like she probably did, right? And then you hit on something and it goes, just goes crazy. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around what to do on there. So I'm not dancing, that's for sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, like the thing is, is if, if you're not worried about the conversations you're having around Facebook and then it's showing up as an ad, which is happening to all of us, I think a lot more frequently. I don't know if, if you've noticed that, but there's been a lot more conversations I've had near my phone that I haven't been searching for, have been appearing in ads. Like if you don't have mm-hmm. an issue with that, but you have an issue with, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's yeah. a lot of things happening in social yeah. media that we should be concerned. Yeah, there, there is, there is, there, 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 there's a lot of that going on. And, <laughs> you know, between tracker apps and, and being like, well, you, you know, are you okay? You're not okay with this tracker app, but you're having, you have Facebook, but having Facebook on your phone kind of disqualifies Almost every conversation about it. The dog has the dog is concerned about it. I should throw a mic on yes. for over for him over there. I'm sure you guys can hear him in the background. He is really pissed about personal privacy. My dog doesn't have a phone. He deleted Facebook. He's good to go. I think he still has an Instagram account though. But anyway. <laughs> Which is, of course, so, owned by Facebook. Which is owned yeah. by Facebook now, yes. Yeah. So well, you now I kind of wondered the same people who are up in arms about TikTok. Do they have the same policy with Livon- L- Livono laptops? Uh, Lenovo? Lavona, yeah, uh, English second language, yeah. Uh, Geek is my first. Uh, yeah. Because they're a Chinese company now. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. they they used to be IBM, got spun off. They're they're hundred percent Chinese and owned. got caught putting software, putting malware yeah. software on their laptops. By the way, yeah. I am currently surrounded by Lenovo uh, computers right now uh, yeah. bet- for this production and, and my MacBook. But uh, <laughs> so that shows you where I stand. But I right. I, I bought mine before this came out but uh but they're fine machines i i, yeah. I, 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 I I'm, I'm not saying anything about the machines i'm just saying it's it, it, the double standard oh yeah annoys yeah. me it's just like um because it is and honestly like you said with the political campaigns yeah i understand why they're paranoid and they should be paranoid <laughs> i think tiktok was also responsible for a certain uh uh political uh, campaign issue in Tulsa a few weeks ago too, so that may have a little bit for some of this jargon to be happening too. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, maybe. Uh, so uh, you know, hypothetically, not to get into that, but uh, uh, you know, just kind of look at it, look at it, uh, uh, you know, full on. But um, 
yeah, it, it's I I just I I you know try to take TikTok away from a teenager. <laughs> It's going to be interesting. So I, I think TikTok's going to make whatever moves it needs to to continue um, mm-hmm. because it's kind of um, uh, it's it's kind of at a too big to fail point unless like, you know, they're getting looked at the way Amazon and Google would be these days. Right. So well, the, the tipping yeah. point was when we all stayed at home, you know, we were all at home. So the Gen Xers, the Gen Z, you know, we had all these age groups that weren't on TikTok before because it was so young. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, they, there's an over 30 crowd and over 40 crowd and over 50 crowd, over 60 mm-hmm. crowd on TikTok. Yeah. TikTok. yeah. So it's like pfft, blowing up. That's where it is. What if they got bought, what if they got bought by a Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> would, would you feel better about that? <laughs> I don't think they could at this point. I think re- I think regulators would go nuts about that right now. So, but yeah. anyways, <laughs> um, God, I don't. I still don't spend any time on TikTok. I just can't get it. I just I because I okay. When I do, I lose too much time. <laughs> but it's got to be better than the doom scrolling I'm doing on other platforms. So, uh, <laughs> so anyways, enough about that. Well, honestly, where I see tick, I, I see TikTok more because people put stuff on TikTok then put it also on their Twitter. Yes, yes, absolutely. So that's the only reason I know it's from TikTok is because of the little logo on the bottom. Well, and I got so as long as you're sharing it that way. Honestly, I'd rather not. I, I I don't go on TikTok because the people I want to follow are also sharing at other places. Right, right. Uh, you, like, the TikTok compilations on YouTube are a great thing. I got pissed. Uh, because I was using my Instagram uh, last week, like TikTok, that I started putting music into stuff, and then I can't share it anywhere else with the music. Like TikTok, you can carry the music over into the video, but Instagram says no. That's going to be only an Instagram. Here's your video without any sound. It's like mm. thanks, and 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 TikTok has nice stuff where you can. I pulled up a Tom Petty song because my dog was running, so it was like my <laughs> dog running down a dream. Uh, and, and it pulls up the lyrics and I was like, well, this doesn't make sense if I do anything else with it. So, um, I, 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 I'm sure it's a music rights issue that they have going on. Facebook's always been weird about music rights. So, uh, Dave Ponder, thank you so much for joining us again. No problem. Thanks so much for having me, Sork. Please, please plug your stuff. Sure. Sure. Um, uh, my photography stuff's on Instagram and it's only my photography stuff as prof pod, uh, general screaming at the world, including, and, and some photography stuff added in on Twitter also as prof pod. I've seen the screaming. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, well, it's, it's better than screaming in the house. <laughs> It scares because the pets. Both, both of us in the house. Well, not only that, both of us in the house are screaming about the exact same thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, cattail. Um, you can find the uh, the podcast Tiny Shutter on tinyshutter.com. dot um, We are recently starting to do a little change um, where we're not only doing the audio, but um, because we're using Zoom, um, mm-hmm. starting to put it out on YouTube as smaller clips. There you go. Um, and uh, fearless leader, Mark Sadowski is working on taking the video and clipping it off and putting it up there. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Katie, where can people keep up with you? Uh, Kate Marie PGH on Instagram. Pretty much. I've been on Twitter a smidgy bit more. Kate utters on Twitter, Facebook, me here and there. <laughs> it's not as much fun as uh, Instagram. I am quite the lurker on TikTok, but I have not posted anything myself because mm-hmm. I don't know what my niche is. <laughs> well, remember you did start Instagram just posting uh porta potties. Photos. So I yeah. mean I mean what's what's the uh TikTok equivalent to <laughs> porta potty <laughs> porta potty photos. It's gotta be so fun for anybody that like <laughs> I I don't know how many people would do this, but anybody just just, just kind of goes down an entire like thing on somebody's profile and then like all, all of a sudden there's this, this shift. <laughs> to to like, to porty potties like what what is what is this like this used to be, this used to be a, a strange site now <laughs> yeah so oh geez our, our instagrams uh uh age with us i guess so thank you everybody thank you everybody in the chat room on whatever platform you may be on i've seen you guys across a couple of them here tonight and including the periscope and the facebook and my mom's out there hi mom she's been getting better uh so uh <laughs> uh thank you everybody uh for funsies uh i did i did get a covid test on friday still waiting the and yes i'm still awaiting the uh, results of that but if you want a video of me sticking something up my nose 
Uh, that is over on my personal accounts, <laughs> Sorkin Sean on the Twitter, uh, and and my Instagram. I think I put it over there, and and I kind of describe what the process is going through the drive-in at uh, CVS, and also I reposted <laughs> my interview because I thought it was really um, uh, worked out, uh, uh, really kind of connected uh, the, our interview with the uh, founder of the Novid app, uh, COVID uh, uh, contact tracker. So please go check those out. Please, everybody, wear your mask. I don't care if it's legal, legal, illegal, whatever that debate is. Just wear your damn mask as a thing to do to help everybody else out, okay? Uh, so <laughs> we're just going to say that. And thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome, have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.